Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, me and Lou are just having a nice, peaceful Saturday. Nick is working with his dad. Um, I did some studying. I know I haven't uploaded in a while and that's due to me being in nursing school. I just started my first semester of nursing school. So I'm a little uh, stressed out lately, but I wanted to upload a video on the things I love about Lou and the things I dislike, or I didn't want to say dislike because I don't really dislike anything about Lou. He's amazing. Or Blue Healers, you know, they're great dogs. But, you know, just things that I think he needs work on and I think we need to work on together as an owner and a dog. Um, but anyway, before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I'm usually making dog videos. <laughs> um, I want to get into like more beauty aspect like YouTube and stuff, but honestly, I just keep coming back to the dog videos. I love Lou and there's just endless things to make dog videos about. But yeah, so if you're new, subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. So we're coming at you live from the couch today. We actually moved our couch. We moved our living room around and I actually really like it above these windows. It gets beautiful morning sunlight and I'm actually getting a giant palm tree from my mom um, to be in that corner. Right now I just have my little palm tree that's actually kind of dying, but whatever, um, forget about that. Lou is pissed at me because I brought him into the shot and he was chewing his bones. So he's like, that. But I wanted to have him a little bit in the video. I always talk about him and then he's like not even in here. Um, but he's chewing on his bone. If you haven't, um, go and check out my five toys for dogs video. Um, this is included. It's a, a white deer tail <laughs> right white tail deer antler oh my god anyway so he loves it and i'm just gonna let him chew it and stop bothering but anyway the first most important thing that i love about lou is his loyalty blue healers will pick a person and be their best friend and only their best friend they're very um a one person type of dog they're not really a family dog i'd say they're very loyal to one individual or two. I mean, he kind of switches between me and my boyfriend, Nick. But, um, yeah, after that, he's kind of like, yeah, he knows you, he likes you, but he's not going to pick you to come and snuggle up with. He'll pick me. He'll let you pet him, maybe, but he's not into you. He doesn't, you know. He follows me around. He wants to please me and only me, and that's what I really love about him. He's very um, intimate. It's an intimate relationship with this kind of dog that I've never seen with any other type of dog. With cattle dogs, they're like a little human being, I would say. they You can tell what they're thinking. They can tell what you're thinking. You're just very in tune with them in a way I've never had with another animal, let alone another breed of dog. So another thing I really like about Lou is his athleticism. So he's a very athletic dog and all blue healers are. They need a lot of exercise as well as mental stimulation. So um, don't forget that. But I love working out and I'm a very um, athletic person myself. So it was just meant to be to get a dog that was also athletic so I could bring them out and, you know, like, have a buddy, obviously. Like, he's my workout partner. And also activities like um, camping and hiking I bring him. When we went on our trip from New York to California, we actually were in Colorado and we hiked a, I think it was four miles, two miles up and two miles down. Louis went with us and after that, oh my goodness, he took the biggest nap ever in the van, but... He loved it. He was loving every part of it. There wasn't even like a time where I was like, oh, is he tired? Because blue healers will just go and go and go. But that's one thing you have to, just a little side note, that's one thing you have to um, watch out for because they don't know when to stop. But I know Lou and I could tell he's having a great time. He had plenty of water and all that. But yeah, he just loves being out. He's like a trail dog. He'll follow the trail. He He's just so excited. You can tell he's got a smile from ear to ear when he's exercising, when he's running alongside me. 
he, he knows that's what we're supposed to be doing because he always wants a job. So he's like very happy to be with me. That's all he cares about. That's all they care about is doing stuff with you. They want to do everything with you. I'll be cleaning the house and Louis just walking around sitting on stuff. I mean, it's kind of annoying sometimes, but he's just sitting on stuff I'm trying to pick up or like just looking at me as I sweep the floor with all of his fur. But he always wants to be doing the activity with you and I really like that. He's just stuck to my side. And um, from stemming from that, you're always outdoors with the dog because you know, having a dog in general just makes you go outside more. Um, with a type of dog like a blue healer, yeah, they need exercise. So you need to be bringing them out for exercise. I bring Louie on coffee walks, like that's what I call them. Um, me and Nick will go into the nearest town and get a coffee and we take Lou with us and as we're sipping our coffee, we're <laughs> sipping our coffee, we're <laughs> taking him on a walk through town or there's a rail trail, like an old um, train station trail, you know what I mean. Um, and we walk him along that. Just things like that make you more of an outdoor person. You want to bring your dog somewhere and switch it up because you know it's gonna get boring taking your dog for a run every single day so then you think of like oh let's go get coffee and we'll walk the dog or let's go for a hike and we'll walk the dog so it brings you outside and I really love that I've always been um, an outdoor person I love camping I love hiking but I just ended up actually doing it more when I have Lou like once I got Lou I wanted to do those things more and bring him along with me so another thing about blue healers that everyone should really know is, um, he always wants a place to put his head, <laughs> but anyway, um, before you get a blue healer, you should really know that they're protective and that is a blessing and a curse. And I'll tell you why, um, on my trip from New York to um, California, his protectiveness was a safety net. I felt so good that he wasn't gonna let anybody in the van. Um, he would bark at anybody that came up to the van, you know, if we're sleeping, we were sleeping in Walmart parking lots. Like, he was our little weapon, you know, I don't wanna say it like that, but he would be the first defense against an intruder. He would go and bark and bite at them, and you know, that made me go to sleep feeling safe. Like I said, that's a blessing and a curse because with a dog that's protective, they're gonna be weary over every single stranger that they meet. It takes Lou a long time to warm up to somebody, so meeting people is not very, um, I guess, smooth. Blue healers need a lot of exercise, a lot of vigorous training, a lot of mental stimulation. Um, they're not just dogs that you can be, you know, go play fetch with and they're fine. They need to be trained. They need something to work their mind because they are way too smart to just be um, physically exercised. Okay guys, so that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more Liz and Lou. Thank you for watching. Bye.